Hey everyone, it's Marie here. And today we jump into February and I wanted to really dedicate February to financial fitness. And so, love that, right? Three Fs for those alliteration fans out there. So February is all about financial fitness and really wanted to start, I know I talk a lot about business finances a lot um, on my platform, but wanted to dig in a little bit on personal finance. And uh, I know it's February, so people are getting ready to file taxes. Everyone's hoping for a refund. And so I thought, wow, what a great time to talk to you guys about budgeting and preparing for new money <laughs> um, or extra money, right? Because of course, a refund is just uh, money that you overpaid and now is getting returned to you. So let's talk a little bit about budgeting. Budgeting does not have to be scary or complicated, um, and you don't have to be particularly even good at math to get it done. And so I wanted to talk just some really simple strategies for getting started with a budget. And the only thing you need to get started with a budget is paper and a pencil and a desire to get better with your finances. And so we're starting really, really low tech um, in the beginning of February. And so if you have a notebook with some blank pages and a pencil, uh, this is all you got to do. Just start by writing down first how much money you have coming in for a period of time. A month is a typical time to start thinking about how you budget. Um, sometimes if you get paid more regularly, you might do a budget for like the week if you get paid every week or every two weeks, depending on your paychecks. But how much money do you have coming in? So you start with that number, you write that number at the top. And then start thinking through what do you spend your money on each and every month? So I like to think of these in three major categories. The first category is going to be all of your necessities. This is your rent, probably your cell phone bill, any utilities that you pay, groceries, food, um, all of the major necessities. List all of those things first. And then the second category that I want you to think about are um, kind of the um, leisure things that you uh, buy every month. So this would be like um, spending money or pocket money. So running to Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts, that kind of money. Also, excuse me, looking at lines like um, going to the movies or your Netflix subscription, or sometimes your gym membership might fall in there. Or um, if you download a lot of books on Amazon on your Kindle, all of that stuff um, would go in the next category of all your leisure items. And then the third category that you're going to have for your expenses is going to be um, debt service and other bills. So outside of your utilities, which we know have to get paid, right? You got to keep the lights on. Um, what other bills are you paying where essentially you're um, paying back money that you've taken? So this is going to be your credit card bills, your student loan payments, your car note, some of those things, okay? So three major categories. You have necessities, then you have leisure items, and then you have debt service, right? List all of those things. And you should have some major themes or categories that come out, right? So usually for debt service, you're gonna list and itemize those in terms of debt, like credit card one, credit card two, credit card three, what are those payments every month? But for some of these other items, you're gonna to wanna to cluster them together into categories. So you might have a category for entertainment that includes your Netflix, Hulu, Kindle downloads, Google Play, Spotify subscription, all of those things. You could bundle those all together in entertainment. Or maybe you spend a lot of time getting your hair and nails done. So you'll have a category called grooming, right? And start clustering those things together. And then the next step is just to go through your budget for a month and start looking at how much money you spend in each of those categories and then make note of that. And once you've got that all notated down in your notebook, you can start making some decisions about how you wanna spend money going forward. So your first budget is essentially you rewriting what you want those line items to look like, look, what you want those line items to look like during the month. Okay, super, super easy. And so once you've listed all those out, you just take that big number that you started with for how much you have coming in and you subtract all the things that are coming out and you make sure that you still have a positive number or at least are netting zero at the end. 
If you find you don't have enough money to cover everything, that's where you start playing with the numbers and deciding, hey, I'm gonna spend less on grooming or less on groceries or less on public transportation, whatever it is to make sure things fit. Or you decide, I need a side hustle to make more money to cover some of these items that are more essential to my lifestyle. Super easy, guys. Doesn't have to be complicated. Just start with what you bring in, list what comes out in three major categories, and then you subtract the little lines from the big line and see what's left over, okay? Hope that helps you out. I'm gonna drop a link down below for a really quick budget exercise to get you started. Start thinking about some of your lines and let me know if you have questions. Talk to you soon, bye.